Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Mega Man 2, and I am about to press a button. To press a button and go to the stage select. Last we left off, uh, I beat up a robot. I beat up a couple of them, actually. I beat up three. That's like way more robots than I usually beat up per day. Um, but we're left with two of the hardest stages in the game with Heatman and Quickman. So I'm going to arbitrarily select the one on the left. Uh, I did not realize this when I was younger, but Heatman is supposed to, he is modeled after a Zippo lighter. It's like sort of like a visual gag, I guess, if you think about it. Man, I really thought I'd kill that guy. Well, good thing two of them were spawned over there so that one of them didn't drop down on my face. Hey, so, um, my brother texted me and said, uh, I saw that you started playing Mega Man 2. I'm excited to watch it, but if you don't make good application of Leaf Shield, then I will unsubscribe. So, looks like I'm losing a subscriber, because this power sucks. Um, there's like one good thing about it, in that it will protect you from very weak enemies. And you can jump. You can jump in shield, which is like, that would be like crazy in Smash Bros, but hey, this isn't that game. Good thing I was hit into the lava while I was still invisible. Invincible. Oh, turns out Leaf Shield can beat these otherwise uh, invulnerable enemies. Which is weird because like, like a plasma beam pellet thing doesn't kill them. But leaves, that's the trick. Hey, so I already know the pattern to this, uh, this jumping, uh, appearing and disappearing square trick. Um, also, okay, so wait, an actual good thing about Leaf Shield is, like, if you stand, like, right under one of these infinitely, uh, enemy spawning holes, and then just, like, go leave to make yourself some lunch or pee or something, you'll come back with, like, a few lives and your Leaf Shield energy fully recharged, as well as your actual life fully recharged. Provided you don't pee and make food really fast. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, that's enough of that shit. Look, we got more, um, spawning things to be frustrated with. What power should I use? What even is this? Oh, that's Flash Stopper. For no reason, I'm gonna air a few things out. Because I feel like being able to hit above me... Um, has its applications. Wait, I might need Leaf Shield here. I sort of did it without getting hit. Now, if I cared... I could use Crash Bomber to go through one of these walls. And why not? It's like it's not like I'm gonna, you know, need to hold on to that power. But this block is still slowing me down. Um I guess I could just jump through it. Yeah, wow, there's like no reason for me not to do any of that shit. Hey, so I've got item two. I'm gonna be a cheap bastard and skip this section. Uh, of floating blocks and stuff. Of respawning blocks. Am I gonna need to make a dramatic jump toward the end? No, I'm not, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, it wasn't that dramatic, because I landed right back on the item two that I shot. Hey, for no reason, I'm gonna stop that guy in the air. Because I've got all these powers that I just don't need to use during the boss and they recharge when I'm done with the stage, so, like, why the fudge not? Hey, I'm gonna guess this guy dies to bubble lead? But he's actually not that hard. Like, if- okay, so if you get hit by him charging at you with his flame thingy, then, yeah, you'll take some damage. Like, a good chunk of damage, too. Maybe I can demonstrate to you, like, I'll just let him hit me here. Damn, that was a fuckload of damage. Oh, that wasn't that much. It's like not as much damage as I've done to him. Oh shit, did you see that flame landing at my heels right as I killed him? That was a close one. Man, this stage is like super easy when you cheese it. 
Speaking of Cheez-Its, those are like crackers or something, and they're good. I don't know why I said that. I'm not sponsored. Get equipped with Atomic Fireball Whiskey, which is great and delicious, but I'm not sponsored. Message from Dr. Light. My beard is righteous. Well, see you on the other side. <laughs> Item one completed. Get your weapons ready. It's not really a weapon. It's just a little thing that generates a platform that slowly rises for you that you will need to use the hell out of in like the first Wily stage. Get equipped with item one. Better get equipped with this password too, which looks like um someone holding out a sign and then someone who is shorter is like bending back to read it. And the sign probably says something like, I don't know, like the way the Looney Tunes used to like hold up signs because they couldn't talk, like Wile E. Coyote. That didn't answer what the sign probably said. I'm just going to let you figure that one out. Tell me what the sign said. Tell me in the comments what that sign said. I dare you. Hey, let's go to Quickman's stage. Uh, and first thing I get to do is show off some of those fancy items that I haven't used yet. Check this shit out. I can use item one or item three to get this extra life. Uh, I don't know why I jumped and did it. But yeah, that little crawly thing lets you go up walls. Hey, this stage is annoying. I'll show you why in a second. If, if for some reason you're unfamiliar with Mega Man 2, for some reason, I don't know why that would be. Um, but right about here... There's like a whole bunch of crazy lasers that start shooting at you. And if you get hit by them, you die instantly. They're not so hard to avoid right now. I guess if I were special, I could have gone to the other side and um, gotten that one-up slash uh, energy tank. The energy tanks, by the way, are, like, infinitely more useful than 1-ups. I know I haven't used any of them yet, but I probably will. Oh, I was stuck behind a wall that I couldn't see. Hey, so, and I don't know if you know this, but if you die at this part, um, try again. Try again, try again with Flash Stopper, because it actually stops those little beams from coming out and hitting you. Let me see if I can't show you. I don't know why I'm shooting air beams at this guy when I could just easily dispatch him with normal power. Um, I'm gonna do the thing I said I'd do. Look how much easier it is. Look how little I have to do right now. Um, and it helps a whole lot. Oh! I finally realized what that little energy power is for. It's to replenish your flash meter while it's depleting. And if I die here, that'll suck because then I'll have to do the whole thing, uh, you know, without flash stopper. Not that it's particularly difficult, I just fucking died when I did it. I don't give a fudge. Okay, so the trade-off there for using flash stopper during that sequence, oh shit. I should not die right now. The trade-off is that you don't get to use Flash Stopper during the boss, which does drain his energy. Uh, and I know for certain there's a checkpoint right here, so I'm not gonna concern myself with using that energy tank. I'm just gonna die right now and respawn at the boss. Unless I can somehow clutch this out, but like, he jumps on you like first thing. And also hits you with boomerangs, because that is the weapon of someone who is quick. Uh, I wonder if there are any other powers that do good against him. You know what? I think I have a life to waste, right? Alright, let's try some crazy shit. What does Metal Blade do? Oh, nothing, you say? Uh, I don't want to try Crash Bomber. Because that will... Ooh, air hit him like twice there. That was actually a pretty good application of air shooter. What else do I got? Leaf shield, don't fail me now! Oh, he like blocks it with his arm. Let's try bubbles. Oh! Look at how guardy he is. Heat hurt him. 
uh, but didn't, like, do a good job of it. I'm experimenting right now, because I feel like, you know, it makes for some good YouTube. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. I guess I'll find out when people say yay or boo in the comments below. I don't give a fuck about you. Um, yeah, so the battle is easiest when he's running straight forward into a wall where you can shoot him. I should probably use an E-Tank to be safe. So I'm gonna do that! Guess what? I have my energy back! And I'll kill you with air, maybe. No, probably not. I'll kill you with a charged up heat shot. Oh, I keep my charge when I... When I get hit? For some reason, I didn't think that was a thing. I thought you'd lose your charge when you got hit. Well, that was me messing around a whole lot, and now you get to see, like, one of my favorite scenes. One of my favorite recurring scenes in any video game series. It is a man in a flying saucer raising his eyebrows. So, just to prepare you for that, I'm just trying to get you prepared. What's the password? Oh gosh, I don't know what that looks like. How would I interpret this image? That is uh, an umbrella on a rainy day with water droplets falling off the side. That is what that is. And now I will press a button and show you the thing you've been waiting to see. Damn, look at that ride. Like how much do you think he dropped on that? Eyebrow game on point. Love the hair. Take me back home, highways and skyways. We're just gonna enter through the eye here because that is uh, also doubles as a garage port. Oh shit, it's the music that you hear like everyone fucking loves. Like, oh, greatest video game music ever. Wily Stage 1 from Mega Man 2. Oh, did you see the precision there? You probably did if you're watching this video. I mean, I don't know what else you'd be looking at. There, I fucked up. You probably saw that too. Guess what? It makes you use the items here. It makes you do the stuff. I don't know why I'm not using Metal Blade. Because it's basically got a lifetime warranty on it. Look, I haven't. I've used like one little energy pellet thing of Metal Blade so far. Do you see how long this power lasts? Also, if I could slide, there's probably a way for me to get... You know what? I'm gonna get this extra life. Oh, I can't hit start to cancel out. Um, to stop that item 3 from depleting its energy. But that's fine, because I'll just get it all back right now. Uh, I'm gonna farm a little bit of energy here. Hopefully it drops me some pellets. Shooting a lot of bullets here. Alright, that's good enough. Haha, <laughs> I just tanked it. See ya! Ooh, that's even better. I got a bunch of the little ones. Okay, so can I... Nope. I'm gonna despawn it here. I messed up again. I thought I'd be able to like jump and throw one out at the same time, like so, and get a little boost on my way up, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Can I just cheese this guy from here? Yes, is the answer to that question. Yes, I have so much more item three that I will use now. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Don't ask me why I did that. I'm gonna cheese this guy, too, because, um, can I hit him? Yes! Headshot, baby! Did you see that timing? That was almost perfect. That one wasn't. Uh, that one was okay. Look, I mean, as long as you hit him, it's good enough. Oh shit! Open area here! And I am nervous about this upcoming boss, because it is easy to mess up. If you know what's coming, then you know what I'm talking about. Herp! Oh, I almost missed that ladder because I hit my head. What the hell is this shit? 
By the way, in Mega Man 2, if you enter the menu and then exit it while you're on a ladder... I don't know why I'm using... I don't know why I'm using Leaf Shield. Don't ask me. If you enter the menu and exit while you're on the ladder, you will you will begin a free fall. So you have to be holding up, remember to hold up, when you uh, exit the menu while holding a ladder. Hey, so I think this is going to be particularly hard for me because I am bad at games. Also, I am using a joystick that I'm not quite familiar with yet. Uh, and this dragon boss will knock you into the pit, like, like from Parks and Rec. By the way, though, one of the easy parts about this villain here is that he has no invincibility frames when he gets hit. So you can die, first of all. Die when you're, like, really close to beating him. Ah, oh, shit, it spawns me all the way back here. Um... So you can hit him as fast as you can. The problem I'm having right now is that I can't mash this button very fast. On a normal Nintendo, I'd be able to do it. But on this emulator, I'd be able to make an excuse about it. That's all I'm good for. Sorry, YouTube, I let you down. With my whining and my complaining. And my poor Mega Man skillsmanship. That's not a word, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna start on this ladder real low. Can I throw another? Oh, I just barely got it that time. Okay, so maybe starting lower was a bad idea. Because it just made me more likely to mess up. Although, I still didn't mess up, so that's fine. Hey, I think you can hurt this boss extra good with quick boomerang. But I'm not quite sure about that. Also, <laughs> I almost jumped too early there. Also, I'm not, um... I'm not sure if the damage increase that you do with Quick Boomerang isn't offset by uh, your ability to rapid fire your normal gun. Uh, I'm gonna try it though. It's like sorta working. Yeah. Also, I can kinda hit below me, which is a good thing. Okay, it turned out that that was way fucking better, because when you hit him with Quick Boomerang, he just refuses to shoot fireballs at you. So, that eliminates, like, 100% of the difficulty, which is a pretty big proportion, if you ask me. Uh, hey, so, I know we're heading into the second stage of this Wily Castle here, and you're, like, really excited to see more Mega Man, but I'm gonna cut the episode here, and then get something to eat. Um, and then record some more later. So, what I'm saying is, I gotta leave. I'm sorry, guys and gals and everyone and everything that might be watching me on YouTube, Lynn, right now. But that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching this part of Mega Man 2. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends, I'm great.